You want to know what Chris Christie did? Fine. Absolutely fair game. We know what he did when he found out what his people did about the traffic jam. He fired them. And he got up in front of the whole world and said, I'm embarrassed. It's my fault. I'm going to fire the people who did this bad thing. Name one person that has been held accountable for this bad thing called Benghazi. ARB found that no one engaged in misconduct or willfully ignored his or her responsibilities. So I would point you to that. Nobody ignored his or her responsibilities. That was what the ARB recommended. And someone in charge of security, I mean, clearly did not do his or her job. Do you have a question? Why hasn't one person uh, at the White House, the State Department, been fired over that? How do you answer that? Recommendations have been put forward, including on personnel, and the State Department adopted those. It strikes me as a little bizarre to try to compare uh, what's happening in New Jersey to that. Senator Lindsey Graham and Senator McCain taking to the floor talking about the Senate Intelligence Committee bipartisan report on Benghazi. We're back with the panel. Uh, Judge, what about the, the case that Senator Graham makes there and, and some of the findings of that report? I think that the report causes, uh, asks more questions than it answers. It doesn't tell us why it happened. It doesn't tell us why protection uh, was declined. It doesn't tell us who was responsible. It doesn't tell us why the nonsense about a video uh, for which there's no uh, evidence whatsoever. And to Senator Graham's point, which is superb, it holds no one accountable. How could no one be responsible? How could no one be accountable? I'll tell you why. Because the people who caused this are the ones who did the investigating. And that's not the American way. We have a neutral investigator who doesn't have an interest in the outcome of the investigation, assemble the truth, and let the chips fall where they may. That's not what happened here. Here's what Senator Feinstein said in a statement. Uh, quote, statements on the Senate floor this morning and some media reports about the Senate Intelligence Committee's bipartisan report on the attack against our diplomatic mission and CIA annex in Benghazi, Libya, intimate that the report assigns culpability to former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton for the tragedy. This is patently false. The report approved on a bipartisan basis says no such thing. As a matter of fact, Secretary Clinton is not mentioned a single time in the 58-page bipartisan section of our Benghazi report. I regret that the additional views of the report, adopted solely by six members of the Republican minority, unfairly criticizes Secretary Clinton. What about that, A.B.? Well, I think it does um, point to culpability on her part. I think I disagree with the judge. I think it's a very tough report on the administration, members um, of the administration who the report says flat out mischaracterized the situation, offered conflicting accounts of what happened on the ground, and says these attacks were preventable, that the, stability, the security situation was woefully inadequate, and they likely could have been prevented if the security was, was adequate. I, I think it's going to be very tough for Hillary Clinton in the years to come, because the report places the, the blame squarely on the State Department for her to answer these questions. I don't think any Democrat would ever use it against her, but every Republican and any Republican who goes up against her will, in a presidential cycle because they will say, you know, you're the one um, who questioned um, uh, President Obama about his experience and he, you're the one who, um, who counts yourself responsible. And it, it, there was no cover up that was found, but they blamed the State Department for attacks that they called preventable. I think it's very tough for everyone involved. Well, you said no cover up, but there, there's clearly an open question about this story about the protests and about where that all came from considering what the president was briefed about and what the facts are on the ground. Take a look at the listen to Senator Graham today in his uh, Senate statement. Despite these clear warning signs, the State Department was unprepared. Our diplomatic facility in Benghazi was insecure and had already been attacked multiple times. The false narrative that the New York Times is furthering just so happens to align with the Obama administration's account of events. But again, facts are stubborn things, and the Senate Intelligence Committee report clearly supports the conclusion that the administration knew or should have known of the terrorist threat in Benghazi during the relevant period and should have prepositioned assets or made other preparations to better protect our people serving there. I talked to the deputy uh, uh, director of the FBI who is now retired. He said not one person interviewed by the FBI in Germany ever said there was a protest. All of them said it was a terrorist attack. So how could the FBI 
have interviews from every person on the ground in Benghazi who worked for the State Department saying there was no protest, it was a terrorist attack, and that not get into the system. Did the FBI just sit on those interviews? Who did they give those interviews to? How could the President of the United States, after the interviews were taken, go before the American people time and time again for weeks and tell a story about a protest that never occurred? Ladies and gentlemen, this may not be a big deal to you, but it's a hell of a big deal to me. Okay, Charles. And knowing that it wasn't a protest from the first few minutes, because as Fox reported earlier in the week uh, from the released interviews, the president met with the chairman of the Joint Chiefs, with the defense, minister, the defense secretary, who had heard immediately that it was a terror attack and not a protest. So he knew it by 5 o'clock of that day. And then he went on and pretended uh, two weeks. But I think what's wrong, the weakness of the Senate report is this. It blames buildings, the State Department. It blames the CIA. It blames the military, these uh, bureaucracies. In the end, nobody, nobody is, no individual, no human has been held accountable. And on either side of the attack, remember how the president solemnly said, make no mistake, those who did this will be held accountable. Nobody has been arrested. In fact, on the contrary, 15 people in Libya who cooperated with us are now dead. Yes or no? They've and been held accountable. Yes or no? An issue in 2016 or not? Yes. Oh, yeah. Definitely. That's it for the panel.